Good morning, pre-K friends. Today I'm gonna do a little science experiment with you, and it's gonna be called sink or float. So when you have different items that sink, it means when you put it into water, it falls to the bottom. If you have something that floats, it stays right on the top of the water, okay? So I have a bunch of different things that I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you what they do when you put them in water. And then you're gonna help me guess when I show you the item. And what I want you to do after the video, I want you to gather some items around your house and try to predict or guess if you think they're gonna float or sink, and then try it out in some water. Maybe it's when you're taking a bath, maybe you have a, a container you can put it in just like me and try. Um, and then comment below to let us know what things you tried that um, floated on the top of the water and what things sank right to the bottom. So these are the items that we're gonna try. And after we take them out of the water, I'm gonna put them in the sink or the float category. So the first one we're gonna try is a pencil. You can try this at home if you have pencils. Um, if not, you can pick something else. Do you think it's going to sink to the bottom or float at the top of the water? Let's find out. Oh, that one floats. So we'll take out our pencil and put it in our float category. What about a ponytail? It's stretchy and thin. Do you think that's gonna float or sink? Right on the top of the water, so that is float. Next, let's try a bouncy ball. It looks like a soccer ball. Oh, did you see that? It is at the bottom, so that means that it sank to the bottom. We have a key. Oh yeah, that's at the bottom of the water. There, you can see that it's under there. I'll leave it in and we'll take out a couple then so we can see. How about a nail? Any kind of nail. Do you think that's gonna float or sink? Went to the bottom, so that means sink. Next, let's try a paper clip kind of made with the same material as a nail. So do you think this one will sink or float? Oh, that one also sank to the bottom. I have a little counting bear. Float or sink, what do you think? Oh, it went to the bottom, but it came back up to the top. So you can see it's floating on the top. That one didn't make it to the bottom. So we would say that's floating. Just a crayon, a regular crayon. Float or sink? Floating on the top. A coin, mine is a nickel, but you can use, try any coin. Sink, went to the bottom. This is an eraser that you would use to erase your pencil, do you think it'll float or sink? Oops, splash, it's sink, sank to the bottom. And last, I have a big old orange. Let's see, I won't throw that in. Whoa, if you guessed sink, that's a good guess because you think an orange is heavy, but you know what? That orange is actually bouncing around on top. That means it is floating. And if you can see, it is not at the bottom. That's a tricky one. Oranges float, not sink. So we're gonna take them out, put them on. So our orange floated, our crayon and our bear. And then I'm gonna grab all of this stuff out. All of these things sank to the bottom. So our things that floated, orange, pencil, crayon, ponytail, bear, and our things that sank, eraser, nail, coin, paperclip, ball, key. I hope that some of your guesses were right and that you can find some items around your house now to try in water and see if they sink or float. Bye.